The Bible's accuracy has been proven time and time again by archaeological discoveries. This video will look at the top 10 discoveries related to our Lord Jesus Christ. Number 10. Herodian Temple Donation Inscription A limestone inscription was recently discovered in Jerusalem near the ancient temple. The text commemorates a donation to help fund the temple's construction in 20 BC. 20 BC was the year when the temple reconstruction began under Herod, the client king of Judea. The Judeans said that the temple construction had been going on for 46 years. So Herod the Great was in complete control over the region and had support from Rome. He was known for being paranoid and violent, often executing family members or political rivals. By the time Jesus was born, Herod was old and extremely fearful of losing power. So when Magi from the east came to his court asking about the recently born king of the Judeans, Herod was terrified. He knew the prophecy about the Messiah being born in Bethlehem and he was afraid someone would try to take his throne away. To make sure that no one could overthrow him, Herod ordered the massacre of the innocents and the news of the newborn Messiah started circulating. Number 9. The Church of the Nativity Joseph and Mary traveled to Bethlehem for the census, which historically proved to take place throughout the empire. Bethlehem was a small village at the time. Most residents had relatives who also came for the census. It is unlikely that there were any guest houses or inns. However, caves were commonly used as animal storage areas next to or under the houses. This first century cave was excavated in Bethlehem under the Church of the Nativity. The Church of the Nativity has a 2000 years long tradition of belief that this grotto was the birthplace of Jesus Christ. However, Emperor Hadrian, who is often remembered for his efforts to erase the memory of Jesus Christ did build temples for Roman gods over the sites where Jesus was born and crucified. Although he wanted to eliminate the Christian sites, Hadrian actually had preserved these locations. Later, Constantine came and everybody knew where to look for the cave where Jesus was born. He erected the church above the cave in 326 AD. What is also fascinating is that not only Christians were speaking about the virgin birth of Jesus, even in pagan circles, the nativity story was widespread. Number 8. The Cane of Edding Jars Stone vessels were common among Jews in Roman occupied areas like Judea and Galilee. People often used these soft limestone rocks for ritual purposes such as purification ceremonies. Jesus performed his first miracle at a wedding, changing water into wine within these big jars. According to the Gospel of John, each of the six water jars had 20 or 30 gallons. The large jars found in Cana met John's estimate. This could even be the stone jars Jesus used at the Cana wedding. Number 7. Excavated Key Places Archaeology has found the places Jesus visited and confirmed that most cities and villages mentioned in the Bible are historical locations. Nazareth was the hometown of Jesus Christ, a small town with around 400 people. Capernaum has been extensively excavated, revealing a synagogue where Jesus taught and a house that could be the house of Peter. This stone house became a place for early church meetings later in the first century. The so-called Jesus boat or Galilee boat remains have also been discovered in the lake bed of the Sea of Galilee. It is the type of boat Jesus might use. The pool of Salon was also uncovered, where Jesus cured the blind man. There is the pool of Bethesda where the paralyzed man was healed, who had waited 38 long years to be healed. However, there is Magdala, a poor sick, for us in Bethsaida and Bethany, and we could go on. As we can see, these archaeological findings are a testament to the accuracy of the Gospels. Number 6. Caiaphas Oshori Caiaphas played a significant role in Jesus' death. His full name was Joseph Caiaphas, and he served as the high priest in Jerusalem between 18 and 36 AD. A a tomb with 12 ossuaries was found west of Jerusalem. Two of them are marked with the family name Caiaphas. The skeletons of six different people were recovered inside the ossuary, including a man about 60 years old. His ossuary said in Aramaic, Joseph, son of Caiaphas, so his name is fitting. Coins of Herod Agrippa from AD 43 were found on the skull. It means most likely he was the high priest. Number 5. The Pilate Stone and Ring Two artifacts are directly related to Pontius Pilate. There is an engraved stone with a Latin inscription dedicated to Emperor Tiberius. The inscription dates between 26 and 36 AD from Pontius Pilate, Prefect of Judea. 
the other is an oval bronze ring with an amphora design in the center by the Greek word Pilato, which is equivalent to Pilatus in Latin. Probably someone in his administration used this signet ring. Before these discoveries, Pilate was only known from manuscripts of Josephus Philotacitus and of course from the Bible. Number 4. The heel bone of a crucified man. The discovery of the ossuary, a bone box in Jerusalem, silenced skeptics, who used to say that Jesus was not given a proper burial as a crucified victim. Inside the box were the remains of a crucified man from the first century, along with the heel bone with the nail still stuck. The iron nail was still attached to the wood from the cross. This gruesome discovery showed that crucified people were given proper burials. Number 3. The Alexominos Graffito. The earliest image of the crucifixion is an anti-Christian graffito on a wall in Rome made between 50 and 250 AD. The smaller figure in the painting is standing in front of a man who has been crucified. The crucified person has a head of a donkey. The person who made this pagan mockery drawing probably heard about Palm Sunday and the crucifixion of Jesus and may have seen actual Christian worship involving a crucifix. There is an inscription that Alexaminos worships his god. Besides the anti-Christian inscription, somebody else had a response that Alexaminos is faithful. So we can see that Jesus was well known even in the pagan world, not only the Bible mentions him, but many historians too. Cornelius Tacitus, Pliny the Younger, Flavius, Josephus, Lucian, Celsus and Justin are all historians who wrote about Jesus and his disciples. Both pagan and Christian historians noted down the miracles of Jesus, the triumphal and triumphant Sunday and the crucifixion. Number 2. The tomb of Jesus in the Holy Sepulchre. The tomb of Jesus was new and had never been used before. The site was a Jewish cemetery in the first century with in close range of Golgotha and nearby gardens. It was outside the ancient city walls and was situated in a limestone quarry with an outer and an inner chamber. It had a bench where they placed the body and sealed it with a large rolling stone. These are consistent with the biblical account of where Jesus was buried. Hadrian constructed a massive pagan temple over the tomb of Christ in the 2nd century, just as he did with the Church of the Nativity. Later, Constantine and St. Helen tore it down and found the tomb. Christians in Jerusalem passed down a continuous memory of the tomb's location from the burial and resurrection until the construction of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre was started in about 326 AD. A few years ago, they removed the limestone slab and collected samples. The findings affirm the written history of the site. Number 1. The Nazareth Inscription From the Gospel of Matthew, we know that when Jesus was resurrected, the Sanhedrin paid the Roman soldiers guarding the tomb to spread the lie that the disciples stole Jesus' body. It reached the ears of the emperor. Unquestionably, King Herod Agrippa I, who was related to the high priests, called the attention of Emperor Claudius to the followers of Jesus who were at first called Nazarenes. So the Nazareth inscription was an imperial reaction likely posted in Nazareth in 41 AD. This text forbids moving or stealing bodies from sealed sepulchre tombs and imposes the death penalty. This is the kind of tomb in which Jesus was buried. Moreover, King Herod Agrippa may have even used the Nazareth inscription as permission to persecute Christians and execute James, the brother of John, as described in Acts chapter 12. So what does all of this mean for us? It means we can trust the Bible. The Gospel of writers were meticulous in recording and got the details of Jesus' life correct. This is important because it means we can be confident in what Jesus said about himself, including his claim to be the Messiah. What will you do with this knowledge? The choice is yours.